Hello, welcome to another Waggies Beers, Wines and Spirits review on a bloody cold night. Today, we're we'll reviewing this fella, Coat Breton Cider. Yeah, I've never heard of it either. Um, organic cider made from 100% freshly pressed French apples. Um, I would presume it's standard for 4.5%. Oh well. I can't see who it's made by, but then again, in this light in here. One of these days I'll treat myself to some um, high, uh, very high powered LEDs. But until that time comes, we'll just have to suffer in, in, in silence. So, not long got home from work, get the front garden done. Front garden's done there. Mowed, striped, got a roller, striped it, edged it off, weeded it, looks bang on. Check the oil on both cars, one car's got low oil and one car, I couldn't even see the bloody oil, that's my car, so I think tomorrow I'm going to have to have a um, check it when I get to work on the flat, give it a few hours to cool down and then check it and see if I need to put any oil in as a matter of urgency. So, this, well, it's got a... It's got a urine look to it, doesn't it? It looks like, it does look like piss. It's a bit of stale piss as well. I mean, my piss looks like that. I mean, I don't know what yours, yours looks like. It could be cleaning or what, but it has got that look to it. So it tastes better. Like a goldy look, shall we say. A room of apples on the nose. Mm. Actually, not a bad, not a bad apple taste. Actually, um, I think I got this from. It'd be either Own Bargains or B and M Bargains, and it may have been one of them that's come and gone. Because as you know, with both Home and B and M Bargains, beers come, beers go. You've got to, if you see them, you've got to buy them. There's no use waiting, especially for the the good ones like Saddler's Christmas Pudding Stout when that came in uh, just before Christmas. It sold out massively quick. And uh, I mean, if I was a, a buyer for B and M, I would have bought in pallets of it, and had pallets in each store because that baby sells. But who am I, eh? You know, as a fan of beer, I know that. But um, obviously, the supermarkets, for whatever reason, don't seem to don't seem to follow the same path as it were. Feels good to get back in the garden after work at night, just to start getting it ready for the spring. Um, with gardening, it's all right leaving it from October till March, but a little bit of a tide up halfway through just keeps it in uh, tip top condition. Always something to think about. I mean, I've, I've mowed my grass and rolled it, it don't look great, but it, it looks short. It looks stripy, it's just the green, it's not fully, you know, bang on green. But uh, it looks the part anyway. Get rid of the worm casts, and you brush the worm casts in, it gives it like a top dressing. So the worms are doing you a favour, really. But by brushing it in, that dries, it top dresses your grass. And it's amazing how um, it all comes together. Bloody hell, it's gone from 13 minutes down to 5 minutes, I need to crack on. So a very nice red and green apple taste to it. It is what it is. It's it's not. I won't say it's anything special. It's a sparkly instead of a still. But for what I paid for it, probably about eighty pence. It's you know it does the job. It's an apple taste that lingers for a few seconds and then disappears. It's gone down to two minutes now. That's just taking the mick. Bloody hell, watch it go down to a minute now. I hate being rushed on reviews. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have one under, oh my God, it's just gone down to a minute, you absolute fuck. So, break it down. Gold in colour, apple on those, apple on the taste. Quite a nice enough taste, really. Um, I won't say it's special. 
but it's nice enough. Out of five then, I'm gonna get, oh shit. I'm gonna give this 4.1 out of five.